I'm Bianca from Grand Island Senior High. And my poem is titled Barbie Dream House. Every girl dreams in Barbies. At four, I threw Barbie around. At five, she was a princess. And at six, she got her first divorce. It was tragic. And don't get me started on the accessories, the shoes, the dresses, the purses. Barbie was always the best dressed. Even when my mom played with her as a rag doll, I, with a stiff five-jointed Barbie, who could bend and snap at the knees, and my niece, with the new made-to-move Barbie. So I knew I gave my niece the right gift, the ultimate accessory. She wanted the shiny new Barbie dream house, with 20 rooms, 10 bathrooms, five closets, three elevators, and a pool. The house every girl dreams of. The house only 10 can buy her. This is what she wants. And when she rips the wrapping paper like a hyena starved of food, I know I've made the right choice. The house just as it should, cold, hard, plastic, pink and in place. But it's not the dream house she's looking at. It's the big brown box. Because my niece wanted something else. She wanted more, and so did Barbie. She was looking at the rocket ship Barbie used to collect Saturn's rings, and on the way made an alien friend. The ship Barbie used to sail around the world, nonstop and unassisted, through waves that would sing her a lullaby to sleep, or waves that were so violent they made her seasick. The courtroom where Barbie was your officer, lawyer, and judge. The motorcycle, because Barbie shaved her head, has a full sleeve and a Harley bike. She wanted so much more. Barbie doesn't like Ken like that. Barbie doesn't want kids. Barbie is a shark, and Mark Cuban ain't got nothing on her. Because Barbie is so much more than Betty Crocker, and looks like more than just Marilyn Monroe. I guess the dream house was never really Barbie's dream.